John Albert Elway. He led the Broncos to their first Super Bowl victory with the drive. A total of 98 yards was gained to tie the game with the Browns. It was a pass, run, and then pass, run over a span of five minutes and three seconds with a couple plays. He did it and tied the first Super Bowl the Broncos have ever went to. It was amazing. The graduate of Syracuse University, Floyd Little, was a valuable running back. He later got into the Hall of Fame because of a couple Super Bowl wins he got the Denver Broncos. He was valuable to Denver Broncos offense and used to run many last-minute or touchdown plays. Jack Dolbin was a wide receiver for the Denver Broncos. He played for a total of five seasons and retired. We later on replaced him with Ed McCaffrey. Terrell Davis was a very valuable running back for the Denver Broncos. He played f for six years to, since 1995 till 2001. He was sixth pick in the 1995 NFL Draft. Bill Thompson was the third pick in the 1969 NFL Draft. He was picked by the Denver Broncos. He, he was a professional out of Maryland State University College. Austin Goose Gonsolin was the first pick in the 1960 NFL Draft. He holds the record for the most interceptions with 40 total interceptions over his career. He made the first ever interception in the NFL with the first ever AFL game. Ed McCaffrey was the first pick in the 1991 NFL Draft. He was picked by the New York Giants. He then went over to the San Francisco 49ers and last the Broncos. Now he owns his own football camp, and in college he was in the National Honor Society for Stanford University. Stephen Dennis Atwater was nicknamed the Smiling Assassin. He was nicknamed the Smiling Assassin because of his ferocious hits on opposing players. For most of his career, he played free safety for the Denver Broncos. He was three-time Pro Bowl pick and two-time Super Bowl champion.